Hey friends, Rob here. Response review of a young man, jogger, you know all the story. Uh, was apparently shot and murdered by two uh, men who thought he was robbing them or somebody else. And what has said, said they, first of all, my condolences as a minister of the Lord Jesus Christ. And some of you may say, where's justice in this? I hear that word a lot, justice. Who's going to bring justice where there's been an injustice? Now, the Bible is very clear. It says, shall not the judge of the earth do right? Sometimes I want to implore you, my friends, that justice on this side of heaven is not always served. But in the life to come, trust me, nobody gets away with nothing. I want you to understand that. God will bring justice where the scales have been in balance, my friends. He will balance out the scales either in this life or the life to come. And, you know, just a sad day. I mean, I feel so bad for this young man's parents. Obviously, it's similar to the Trayvon Martin story. And will justice be served to the men that it seems to be in the video uh, where the young man was obviously trying, it seemed to be, where he was trying to take the shotgun away so he didn't get shot. And he obviously was shot, so... By God in heaven, friends, we're living in an hour. The Bible does say, though, uh, in the end days, there will be nation against nation. And in the Greek, that word is race wars against race, race wars or ethnic groups against ethnic groups. So it's just sad that the young man that was life was taken is African-American and the other men are white and Caucasian. So it makes it worse in a sense because it seems like they hunted the man down and to be honest, it's not a good situation. It's it's very sad. And friends, I want to implore you, if your life's not right with Jesus, if your life's not right with God, the Bible does say today's a day of salvation. We may never see justice served on this side of heaven for things that have been done to you that were injustices, but the Lord will balance those scales out. So if you want to make your life right with Jesus, you want to bow your heart and pray. I do want to pray for the young man's parents. Father, I pray for this young man. I believe his name's Armand or Armand. Armand. His parents, Lord, I ask you to greet as they comfort. I ask you to comfort them as they grieve and mourn the loss of their son. I'm 25 years old or young man of that age. Father, touch them and comfort them only the way you can. And if you've never invited Jesus, he loves you. God's got a plan for your life. You want to invite Christ into your heart because the Bible does say tomorrow's promise to no man. Certainly that young man did not think he was going to perish that day going for a jog. and His life was going to slip into eternity. So you may never know when you're going to take your last breath also. Not, no one's immortal under the sound of my voice. Tomorrow's promise to no man. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Desire to check out any of the ministry videos via YouTube or subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Friends, the Lord loves you. Be blessed.